Location ready point. Search What's up, destroyed. YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as Clear people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay ball. on Search and Destroy Meltdown. In case you were wondering, I cut out the first few rounds of this because it was really slow. It was a little over four minutes, and I only got like three kills, so I mean, it just wasn't worth uploading. Uh, this gameplay is actually against two of my former teammates, Mafia CJ, as you just saw there, and Mafia T Rex. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting how it turns out. I'll let you guys enjoy that. And what, one last interesting thing here before the main topic. This was actually my first game of the day. I just hopped on. Uh, Plizix and Quaddy were already on. So I just got in with them. We were trying out Lonius at the time. So we, we just made a team. That's why we're only Platinum. And uh, so, yeah, into the main topic, which is benefits of being a gamer. And I'm going to start out with some benefits for those of us who are like serious gamers like want to play it professionally and everything so the first couple are you get to meet people from around the world that you would never be able to meet you know whether it be through online or as with a really serious person going to land events you get to meet people from like europe and stuff and it's just amazing what you can see now i i haven't been to a land event like i've said before so i haven't been in that setting yet but I I do know that it's amazing because I have traveled before and it's just really cool to meet people from other places um, another thing is you get to have fun while you're working keeping in mind that this is for the serious side of it I mean you get to play video games for a living like how cool is that can you imagine that is it's just insane um, like I said you get to travel and you get to share your ideas with others on YouTube and Twitch and online as well. You know, I mean, you just get to talk about stuff. I mean, it's it's just fun to do. Now, some of these these next few things are things that go for any kind of gamer, or at least first-person shooter gamers. Um, your reaction time will improve, and... One of the things you can actually do to test this is um, something called the dollar bill test, or at least that's what I call it. And basically, you have somebody hold the dollar bill just over your thumb and your index finger, and they drop it, and you try and pinch it. And most most of the population cannot actually get it. Like it'll it'll go through their fingers before their fingers close. Like their reaction time is slower, and maybe like okay what's the big deal well reaction time can actually save your life I mean think about it if you're in a car and you gotta slam on the brakes if you can slam on them for like half a second sooner that could save your life now that isn't for everybody necessarily but I mean it is a possible life-saving improvement um, another thing is that it helps with your hand-eye coordination uh, this this isn't as much as with typical sports, you know, like football or whatever, but I mean, you do have to be able to coordinate what you're seeing on the screen with what your thumbs are doing and everything, so I mean, you know, a lot of people might laugh at that, but it, it does help. Uh, it does, or um, first person shooters also help a lot with strategy. Uh, you do have to strategize quite a bit, and it can, you know, be difficult sometimes, but it it really does improve your strategy like I mean I've seen improvements when I go and play chess or something you know I mean I'm just able to think a little bit better about it I don't know that could be some age as well I don't know but I feel like it does at least somewhat improve strategy um it also in uh, helps you think quickly for example, you know, you got to make those split second decisions sometimes on what you're going to do, whether you're going to challenge a gunfight or whatever. And that's a skill you need in real life because sometimes you just got to make fast decisions on your heels. You know, if somebody asks you a question, you're not ready for it. Or if something were to happen, like if you were to be in the military or something, you know, you got to be ready for that kind of thing. Um, it can also reduce stress. Uh, th this is something that science has actually proven. Um, it can refine motor skills with, you know, like preschoolers, like younger people. I'm not saying that's going to, it's going to refine your motor skills as an adult or anything. Your motor skills should be 
already there. Um, it can also improve your vision because you have to focus on what you're seeing and you have to be able to react to what you're seeing so quickly. Um, one last thing before I go here, guys. I should be able to upload another video on Sunday evening. We'll see how that goes. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comments below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.